So yeah, I started getting, I, I started teaching. Well, Sai was pregnant, and and then she, we had, I had her little boy. And it's really hard to play out, and like, like it was not hard, but I just felt guilty leaving her with the baby and all the responsibilities right. that come with it alone to you know. Hey, take care of the kid. I'm gonna go play at this bar. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, and I, cool. it, like she would have totally supported it, but I'm not that big of a jerk. So uh, I was like, you know, I'll take some time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What? 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 Everyone was watching. Yeah. Know. Where's the? Where's yeah. So, um, yeah, so I was like really, uh, I, so I stayed at home and uh, I started teaching. So I was teaching guitar and uh, now that now that Eli's older, uh, he's a little easier to, doesn't it take two of us to, you know, to, to take, he's, he's kind of getting self-sufficient. Right. I can't wait till he can just start feeding himself and changing himself and all that good stuff. Mowing the yard, taking out right. the trash, feeding the dog, you know. You can't stuff. do that now? No, well, he's two, you know, and, uh, you know. I don't know, I, I don't have kids. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, I don't have that problem. Uh, but, uh, no, and so I had, you know, students, and then, um, and like I said, now, uh, it's a little easier, and then, like, this is kind of like my, my wife has her thing, she does the vol she does volleyball, she loves that, so she does that during the week, and then I do the music during the week, uh, you know, she gets her night, I get my night, so. Uh, so Have I, you uh, played with anybody since you've been up here? Or is it all solo? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned it. Thanks. Uh, nice little segue. Segue, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, one of the first people I played with in St. Louis was Steve Ewing of a little band called The Urge. Uh, I'm going to name drop. Steve says it's okay. So, uh, no. Uh, um, Steve Ewing of The Urge, uh, yeah, he... Uh, called me up and uh he's like hey you want to play uh want to play guitar and i'm like first i thought it was my cousin gabe <laughs> <laughs> like like pranking me right and I'm hey like, asshole it's steve ewing come play with me <laughs> all right gabe real cool yeah click and uh so uh we, he was like uh he called me on like a monday and uh he was like yeah the show's like friday like, uh, you need to learn, like, 45 <laughs> songs between now and then, you know, because I hadn't really been doing anything, and I and I, I didn't know, I didn't know, like, n I had heard 90% of the material, There's some of the stuff in, in his, his set was so eclectic anyway, right. and it had urge stuff, you know, it had urge songs and everything, and I'm just like, and he's like, yeah, we do an acoustic, and I'm like, acoustic? He's like, yeah, let's do hectic, and I'm like, acoustic? <laughs> And, uh, but they do, um, Adam Hansbrough plays with them, uh, you know, it was just one of those types of things, it was just, uh, uh, Adam Hansbrough, he does an awesome job with, with Steve Ewing, uh, and then Steve has his own band, the Steve Ewing Band, and then, um, I got to meet, uh, through him, I got to meet a, a guy out of, uh, Farmington, Brandon Scherfus, or Brandon S., uh, and then he also, uh, does with, um, Losing Altitude, uh, which is kind of, um, uh, he does originals. Uh, he had uh, uh, some really good songs, so I got to meet him, and, and uh, we, you know, uh, we played together once or twice, and then, uh, like I said, and then, and then we, then <clears throat> the baby was born, and then I kind of, I put, I put the brakes on, right, and then, and so now, uh, now I'm back out, uh, and like I said, the the tilted kilt uh, all month long, uh, for November Thursday nights, Thursday nights at eight o'clock. And the biggest drinking night of the year, and which, the biggest is, drink, which is uh, Wednesday, November 25th, Thanksgiving The Eve. day before Thanksgiving. So you can go, listen to music, get really drunk, and then wake up the next day and have a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner with your family. Right, yeah, because you got to get that out of the way first. So, so you might as well have the headache. If you're going to have a headache, you might as well have the headache. And then you eat turkey and stuffing. It'll be a good time. It's a good cure for a hangover. So. Turkey and stuffing at 7 in the morning. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Pumpkin pie. When do you yeah, so. yeah. And then the I have to uh, I have to I have to wear the hair short from all the white that's coming through. So I've gone pretty much well. Well, I am bald. <laughs> and, uh, so if I don't shave my head, I wear a hat. And what little hair I do have is gray. So it's just like God hates me. <laughs> it's like I'm his little joke. I'm gonna make him fat. I'm gonna make him bald at twenty. But he'll never get laid. Let's see him pull through. And, you know, through the miracle of drugs and alcohol, I am not a virgin. So.
<laughs> that one's on you, guys. <laughs> no, so uh, it's like a UB40 song. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be a good one. Yeah. Um, so one of the things with the John show is I do not have a theme song. Mm-hmm. I play Copperview's Price You Pay. Now I love that song. The guys know I love that song. Um, the problem is, is like now when they play it. They get so many cheers for the John show, mm, it's yeah. like it throws them off, <clears throat> and that's really kind of rude on my part, because I don't want to, I don't want to upstage them at their own show. Right. But when people, when they start that riff, and people are like, oh, John show, bring them out, I want to see them interview someone real quick, and you know, it's it's not fair to them. That happens. So, what I'm going to ask you to do is we're going to get you set up, and you're going to play us out. And you can play whatever you want, and whatever you decide to play, that's the music I'll play. So this will be the John Show theme song. So if you want to go get set up, I'll do a little bit more talking, and uh, we'll close it with Steve playing some music. So hopefully it's not another four months between episodes. Um, We're going to do our best to uh, be doing this on a more regular basis. We have some uh, some more skits filmed, so we're going to throw those out there. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Um, tell all your friends. Tell all your enemies. Tell all your frenemies <laughs> about, uh, about the John Show. I mean, tell everyone you know. What's the harm? Hey, check this out. It's really cool. Or... Uh, Don't check this out, but send them the link anyway. You know what I mean? Give them the option. So if you could do that, that would be great. And six people can become ten people. And ten people can become twenty people. And eventually, we might get to like fifty people. And my head would explode. So if you could just do that, that would be great. Steve, are you you set up over there? I'm ready to go. All right, let's do this. If the camera can just walk over while he's playing. That's really great. Okay, that's all the time we have, so thank you. See you on the next John Show.